Just last week, top administrators in the Biden administration were on Capitol Hill warning Congress and their constituents about likely foreign terrorist attacks on U.S. soil, resulting from the latest unrest in the Middle East. Combined lax U.S. border security, which has allowed tens of thousands of potential terrorists to cross our southern border with the religious or political motives which drive them to carry out such attacks, and the result becomes virtually inevitable. Fortunately, police in Houston, Texas, were alerted to a 20-year-old Jordanian national who was visiting radical Islamic websites, talking online about martyrdom, and seeking out information on how to build bombs. On October 19th, Houston authorities arrested Sohaib Abu Ayash and charged him with the unlawful possession of a firearm. According to the Western Journal, Sohaib had allegedly been training with weapons to possibly commit an attack against a Jewish group, an attack which now has apparently been thwarted. A police presence online prevented this tragedy. But what of the more disciplined members of sleeper cell groups who live low-key lives and camouflage their true purpose in our country? We wonder how well-prepared authorities are to prevent organized Islamic resistance. After all, FBI Director Christopher Wray told Congress that 60% of all religious-based crime in our country is committed against the Jewish population, which numbers only 2.4% of Americans. Thanks to alert watchdogs in Houston, that number has not risen. Our job at Restoring Justice U.S. is to prevent history from repeating itself. Learn more of what we are doing and how you can help.